Hey, what's up? Quattro here for Pixel Flux, and for today's quick tip video, we're gonna be taking a look at how to take your 3D renders, which may look something like that, and use Adobe Lightroom to uh, kind of enhance them and make them look something more like this, or maybe something like that into something more like that. I've recently started using Lightroom for my 3D work um, because it gives me finer controlling and fine-tuning uh, to my 3D renders, especially when using 32-bit per channel files, and it's just a little easier to work with than Photoshop. Obviously, I'm still using Photoshop for retouching and uh, compositing. Anyway, without further ado, let's jump into Lightroom where I've got my render already imported and let's have a look at some of the settings here. Now for my 3D renders I usually use the clarity setting quite a lot because it changes the micro contrast of the image and kind of gives you, uh, pull, uh, pulls out a lot of the detail if you will. So uh, let's crank that up a little bit and you can see how that changes and I think for this particular render I'll just crank it up all the way to 100. Now I usually do that first before I adjust my contrast exposure and shadows and highlights because that pulls out the detail as well as introduces a little bit of uh, contrast in the scene. Um, so yeah, let's try a little bit of uh, contrast, maybe uh, pull the highlights up a little bit shadows down, let's give it a moody look just like in the uh, one that I've showed you. Let's see, something like that looks really nice, maybe a little more contrast, there we go. Now for the color balance I usually do that as the last step after I've done all my grading. So um, yeah, let's see, profile corrections is a useful feature because we can introduce a little bit of a um, distortion that, use, that usually comes from a lens and you can choose your profile and that is an inverted kind of a distortion. In the camera you would find a different kind of one which wouldn't pull these corners out but you actually uh, push them in but it doesn't really matter because it's just a distortion that we're adding for visual impact so uh, we can uh, afford to kind of skip that realism. Now for the vignetting part I usually tone that all the way down because that's reducing the vignetting which is not actually there since it's a 3D render. So I'm just gonna pull that all the way to zero and I'm gonna add my own vignette uh, highlight priority mode and I just uh, like to give it a subtle one say for example something in the numbers between 20 and 10 something like 14 is good enough for this scene now coming back to my color temperature let's tone it a little uh, like the cooler look so let's give it a little bit of a cool tone and I can do the final color corrections. So let's give it a more blue color there. Mm, actually, I might go back to the temperature, set it a little higher. Let's make a nice warm versus cool contrast there. So uh, I'm gonna increase my blue saturations. Cyan as well. Uh, probably increase the luminance of the blue a little bit. And I'd like to introduce a little bit of that um, blue from here into this wall of glass here, but unfortunately during the rendering process that didn't really happen. So what I can do is I can take my brush tool and I can actually paint a custom color temperature where I want it to be. So I'm just going to zoom in real quick and start painting in some of that temperature there and don't be alarmed it's a really big uh, kind of a difference but I can always tone it down so let's just make sure that I paint it where I want it to be something like that and I can use the alt key to uh, remove the brush strokes I didn't want so let's remove some of that and we can soften up that edge there. 
So that's good enough, and I can always kind of tone it down, maybe adjust the exposure a little bit to kind of give it more of a glowy look. Probably not that much. Something like that. So uh, yeah, that's about it. Now if I hover my mouse over the symbol there, it shows me where my mask is, so I can kind of come in and tweak that a little bit. There we go. So that's giving it a little blue tint there. So um, yeah, it's um, it's a huge difference from what we had before, which is this. And pretty much everyone is kind of agree with me. I mean, that looks more aesthetically pleasing than this. So uh, anyway, hope you found this quick tip useful. And if you did, please don't hesitate to leave a comment below. Uh, you can ask for more tutorials or just uh, speak your mind out. If you found this useful, please subscribe as well. That helps me keep the channel going and we will see you next time.